was good? Yes, today, as you can see, today we're going to talk about two things. Uh, we're going to talk about the low pass filter, and we're going to talk about the high pass filter. Um, if you hear any noise in the background, my apologies. I stay in the hood. <laughs> All right, so, anyways, uh, go ahead. Read a little bit about what both low pass and high pass filters do. All right, a low pass filter is a filter that passes low frequency signals but attenuates signals signals with frequencies higher than the cutoff frequency. I know y'all don't understand that, um, but I feel like I should read these definitions because that's what I have to do if I want to know. All right, uh, and to see. What a high pass filter uh, be defined as, and then I'll show you real world applications. Uh, high pass filter. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? All right, high pass filter passes high frequencies well, but attenuates, reduces the amplitude of. Frequencies lower than the filter's cutoff frequency. Okay, so that's a high pass filter. Uh, I'm going to show you with a uh, reason record how I use uh, high pass and low pass filters. This is a track I'm working on, a remix. Uh, we, what we have down here in New Orleans is called Bounce. Uh, so it's a bounce uh, remix for a DJ. And I'm gonna show you how I use high and low pass filters to uh, to do in my mix. DJ Cheat, DJ Cheat. And another one. Come on. elements to this track is uh, the actual track which I'm a solo and I'm going to play that so you can see how I'm using the high pass frequency meaning I'm cutting off my low in the bottom so anything behind 123 Hertz is getting cut off there's no bass beyond 123. All right, so this is what it sounds like. So, baby, so baby, and that's with. Oh. High pass filter all off. off. You turn it back on. do that is because I have so many other elements in this track that is going to uh, encompass or is going to crowd that bass frequency. I have to cut some of the bass off so it won't be too muddled. Uh, opposite of that, if I wanted to take, or like what Dre does, he takes the highs out of his song and he has a sound like you're in the club types of sound on a box uh give you an idea and another one 
Call the low end theory. You take that bass behind another track, and you have an instant bass line. Uh, but that's some old, old uh, low end theory. Who was the albums that? Not the last so Tribe Called Quest type of technique. Yeah. So. That's where it fall open. All the time. All right, these are my other two tracks. But all I do think about the way. I need to take the bass out these two tracks. So I won't interrupt with the rest of them. That's pretty much how I use high and low pass uh, filters. Now, if you don't have reason record, I mean reason or record, uh, there's ways of doing this with EQ. Uh, let's see, let's create M class equalizer. And on that, if I wanted to, do me a low. And that would be my low cut filter. I want to do a high cut filter. I would. Uh, no, let's use this one. No, he was just to cut my highs. 